you've been an industry professional you've led you know teams in the industry you've been a professor at binghamton university and you've um, you're now in a leadership position leading uh, certain functions for the university you've been an inventor and a researcher you've patents to your credit and uh, you know several hundreds of research publications to your credit what's the mindset difference between pursuing a patent and a research publication and how did you think about these outputs i actually learned all that at ibm because it was a company that uh, really worked very hard on developing their uh, patent portfolio there were uh, they encouraged you to file any ideas that you had whether they ended up uh, getting patented or not they gave you uh, rewards and plaques every time you got a patent the university does the same thing by the way we give plaques to everyone who files a patent it's a different way of thinking because for publication you want to publish ideas that enhance some topic there's a topic that has a gap in it and you're trying to come up with something that really is for the public good so that everybody can use that concept and uh, and build on it with patents it's different because the idea has to solve a problem it has to be directly solving a problem otherwise no one's going to license it and it's a different way of thinking and you have to uh, learn it by trying whenever you're coming up with a new idea something unique then you have to try and uh, write a disclosure and then go to the patent uh, group every company or university has a group that does technology transfer you meet with them and then they can explain to you whether this idea will uh, is likely to be licensed or not you also have to think in terms of claims not in terms of uh, uh, when you write a paper you're really publishing new results claims are where you're very specifically saying because of this invention you will be able to solve this problem and i claim that uh, i'm as attaching part a to part b by using a fl flexible structure for example so it's a different way of thinking but i think that once you get the uh, basic principles you'll find that many of the things that you're doing research on can add, end up being patents as well very valuable for uh, not only for yourself but for your institution that you work in and for society because it translates into products that improve people's lives several students i'm sure here and at binghamton work on research projects and several of them end up publishing that work in in collaboration with their uh, professor mentor but very few students get trained in the art of pursuing a patent uh, <clears throat> certainly the case here in iit madras and in india at large there is no culture of you know writing claims i i would like to see that sort of burgeon a little more what would you suggest is a is a space where they can learn this art of pursuing a patent i think uh if you develop so if you want the culture to grow i think you need to also uh, bring the faculty to realize that this is valuable and once the faculty like for example at binghamton university we uh, 40% of any licensing goes to the faculty so there is a strong incentive for the faculty not to the faculty to the inventor sure. so it could be a student as well So I think once people realize that then uh, that will pique their interest and if you can get the faculty to think that way then they will teach their students that hey this idea can be patented let's work on it and it's a whole different culture i mean once you start uh, writing patents you have to protect the idea you can't publish it until you file it uh, and all these things have to be taught and we our tech transfer office does a lot of that for us they uh, they deliver seminars to the students they talk to them up about the value of patents and how they work they also teach them that when you have an idea sketch it all you need to do is sketch the idea get the inventors to write their names and sign and then uh, file that then the tech transfer office takes over and develops the claims and works with you but at least the idea is protected from the date it was signed so all these things have to be taught and it has to be uh, one other important thing with the faculty is the faculty need to know uh, 
that promotion and tenure, uh, that patents help with the promotion and tenure process.